Welcome to Tub Talk. Welcome to Tub Talk. Tub Talk. First episode, take two. Uh, we, we've been trying to do this for a couple months now, but the, uh, the last time we did it, the phone died after like 45 seconds, <laughs> and we talked for about 20 minutes. So <laughs> this time, we have it plugged in, we have a new, new setup, we're good to go. We are realtors, not tech people, but we're doing right. our best. We're doing our best. So, so Tub Talk, brand new, here's what it's going to be. It's going to be a time where we sit in Jay's hot tub, or potentially other hot tubs if it goes well, and just talk, you know? I'm kind of thinking TED Talk for the common person, <laughs> which is why Renee's here, and we'll <laughs> talk about that in a little bit, but let's introduce so ourselves. Yeah, let's introduce ourselves first. I'm Justin Glover. Um, and I am a real estate agent with Remax and the Glover Home Group. I am Jay Glover. Justin and I are brothers. Correct. And we run the Glover Home Group with Remax. Correct. This is our first guest. This is our first guest, and we'll, we'll get to know him a little bit better later, but you can at least introduce yourself. Not Renee. Figure up for those that want to know. Yeah. <laughs> Not of the Glover Home Group. Not Just a like random... Jack random person that we're going to interview and get to know a little bit better because that's what Tub Talk's all about. Am I pay for this? No pay, no pay, <laughs> maybe. I mean, it goes viral. Right, so no dollars. pay. <laughs> so we're going to do a few things, you know, similar every week, or er, every week. Week's a little aggressive, probably every month. Every here and there. Every <laughs> once in a while. Every once in a while, every episode. <laughs> and uh, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to talk about the real estate market. Mm. And I think Jay is the best person to talk about that. Jay hit us with the market update for Febu late February 2022. Some knowledge bombs. Real estate market, Greater Grand Rapids is still in a lack of inventory, as it has been for the past five years at least. Um, it's more severe now than arguably it has been for the past five years. January we saw the least amount of listings available since 2015 so it's tough out there for buyers but with the right agent and a little bit of time there's some opportunities to be had um, average sales price keeps shooting up month over month and uh, that's about it if you were to describe the real estate market with the temperature what would that temperature be I would say warmer than the water rain right now Wow. Yeah. Hot. Some might say hot. Yeah. Such Currently is... 102. Wow. Yeah. Speaking of that water, what type of water are we in right now? What is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> tell us about this the hot fresh tub. water. Yes, but what? tell us about the hot tub. This is the first time the people are seeing it. Yeah. Tell us about it. Yep. This is uh, Grand Rapids <laughs> made Viking Spa. Mm -hmm. Recently purchased um, right before tax season strategically. <laughs> Also started a podcast. Yeah, those two things go hand in hand. Um, we've been having some trouble with the tub. Yeah, but would okay. you say that's tub fault or user error? I would say not to throw anybody under the rug, but people we bought it from fault for not very good guidance. Oh, Poor okay. Education. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they just assume that you were an experienced hot tubber. The if we would have followed what they told us to do as far as maintenance goes, we'd be sitting in a swamp right now. Okay, yeah. so it's been a, that's part of the reason it's taken a while to do the tub talk. Yep. We've, we've had, we've had uh, some previous water drained out of the hot tub <laughs> and then this beautiful water put back in, yep. so. Slight, slight tent. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. I think we'll hopefully end up all rash, rash free after this, mm -hmm. but uh, TBD. Um, the other thing that we're going to do, I think, most of the time is have a different beer and sometimes we'll just probably grab what's in Jay's fridge and this time he only had Bud Light in his fridge and we wanted to stop and get something a little special so we got this Erste Lager I don't know if it's supposed to be like S.A. Lauder the Erste. makeup maybe mm -hmm. something like that but uh, from Harmony Brewing Company right down the road in East Town um, and what are your guys thoughts so far it's pretty smooth uh, yeah delicious it's our first time drinking it. It's, uh, I would say it's a good introduction to craft beer because it's very drinkable. I would agree. I'm not a big craft beer guy. Not really into IPAs or anything, but I can drink this. I could probably drink, probably drink that big one. 
So that's <laughs> saying something, I guess. Okay, well, I guess. So let's, let's, are we thumbs up or thumbs down or thumbs sideways? Maybe a rating like out of 10 on the thumb scale? Yeah, on the thumb scale. Mm. I'm going like 6.5 out of 10. Just, how's that look to your thumb? You gotta give it the right angle for the camera. Yeah, I'm like, I'm more like an 8, I I'm think. I'm at like a 7.1. Still, like shaking. I would drink it again, so that was a good, that was a good choice, I guess, yeah. by me. It was good. I'll take the credit. Very laggard. That's weird that I take credit for something. <laughs> Fun back. So, we want to do this every time, but for those of you who don't know us, we'll talk a little bit more about ourselves. Why not? I love to do it. Mm. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, I am from Midland, Michigan. Been in Grand Rapids since 2008. I have a beautiful wife, Emily. Two boys, Otto and Arlo. Uh, three brothers, one of which is sitting next to me in the hot tub. And, yep, yeah, this one. <laughs> I know. Look alike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you could almost be a Glover. You have dark hair dark complexion. Parts. Yeah. And hairier in yeah. some yeah. place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, that's, uh, I, we've, I've been in real estate for about seven years. Uh, before that I was doing super boring stuff and, uh, let's see what else makes me interesting. Not much. You might I run. What? I mountain bike. I like to mountain bike occasionally. I'm trying to get back into it this Steam year. Steam climber. I am, uh, I, <laughs> my athletic prowess was never very high, but it is even less than usual these days. So We're I'm trying to, that for right, build that, build that back up. Uh, I run a golf league called the Mediocre Golf yeah. Association. Um, by the time you see this, we're going to be in full recruitment mode. And if you are interested in playing some, some golf once a month with a lot of fun people and having a chance to win some mediocre trophies <laughs> then uh come join some us money. Some no, no money you can win the big check you can it's you win it's money but it's not even like real money it's uh, like check. right you could win a giant check I do like there's those. a trophy with boobs on it <laughs> called the claret jugs no. so that's that's <laughs> like Solid. the I'm most like that's the most coveted <laughs> that's prize. the most coveted prize i have yet to win one mm. but it might be my year this year it's in your be. destiny to go so yeah that's a little bit about about me jay tell us about you i am from midland as well mm. uh, it's weird since we're yep mid. yeah yep and i lived in ludington mm -hmm. um moved to gr about five years ago been in real estate ever since so almost five years now um before that nothing too exciting school and and uh casual college high school jobs so nothing too crazy real estate's kind of been my first adult job and i've stuck with it it's been enjoyable for me i do not run a golf league um i am also not very good at golf and also have not won the you've trophy. played in the golf league i've played in the golf league right you're the type of clientele that we're looking for other than that i like to sit in my hot tub um travel i'm engaged getting married this year I uh, did some winter camping this this uh, winter. Mm -hmm. Had enough to go snowboarding tomorrow, so I like to get out outside and do stuff like that. But also have the Glover jeans, so mediocre athleticism. Yeah, but I feel like that works. We are good at drinking games. That's the first thing. <laughs> <laughs> Naturally, I <laughs> like to say we're good at throwing stuff at stuff. Yep. So Cornwall, like right, darts. any anything that involves throwing stuff at stuff, we're we're or stuff serviceable, stuff. right? Yeah, right, serviceable at that at those things. We're now, never gonna be the last pick in your average backyard game, you know. But if you throw <laughs> if you throw us into like an intramural that. league, then maybe, maybe yeah. Last pick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I I really appreciate that. That's nice of you to say. Yeah. That I wouldn't be the last pick, second to last, but still not last. <laughs> still not last. And then, we're not going to do this part every time, because you know us now, and you're going to watch every episode, so we're not going to have to do it every time. Mm -hmm. But, we need to get to know Renee here, who's our first guest on Tub Talk. First ever guest. Oh, boy. So, tell us a little bit about yourself, Renee. Well, um, I'm Renee, for those that just jumped in. Um, I don't know, I, I feel like I'm a jack of all trades when it comes to mm. different stuff. Would you say master of none? No, pretty much. <laughs> okay. That's um, a very Glover trait. Yeah. 
you know, I, I do pretty much about the same stuff that Jay does, um, minus a few things here and there, but, um, I mean, rotating from climbing to mountain biking to um, carrying a team at, um, what do you call it? Not the Caroline, no. Cornhole. 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 <laughs> That's good. We have, yeah, we have to give you a handicap when yeah. you play cornhole. <laughs> you know, I, I, you know, mediocrely, I, I do things here and there, but not, a, not a professional in anything. Really. What do you do for, what do you do for a career? How do you make your money? So money wise, I work in the nursing world. Mm. Um, currently a nursing student, mm. so trying to uh, embody myself into that universe. But other than that, yeah, other than that, I do the small odd jobs and we get it done. Hey. <laughs> You know, the goal of this is to, we've now established that he's just a regular Joe. I'm a yeah. regular, regular Joe. Maybe a little bit above average at some things, but overall average. I like to like cover myself in average, just to like <laughs> hide my, my skills. He's pretty good at making me uncomfortable in the hot tub. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. What would you say the qualifications are to be a guest on Tub Talk, speaking of being average? Oh, well, working on the pitch a little bit. <laughs> but I would say, the op like we said, the opposite of TED Talk. So we don't want any world leaders or people who solved, you know, or solved, like, cured cancer or can yeah. even could solve a Rubik's Cube. Like that's just, <laughs> I don't even know if that, no, that's just too, yeah, too that's intense. too intense. I think we need just the regular folk and we're going to find out something that makes them interesting. Yeah. So that's kind of the goal of this. I mean, Jay and I are very much regular people and we might even find something that makes us interesting. But the goal is to find out something about the guest. So, Renee, I'm going to ask you some very personal, prying Oof. questions. Uh, all right. That I'm going to make up Bring here out on the tissues. Spot. <laughs> so here, here's question number one. You mentioned you are a nurse or a nurse in school. Nurses, yeah. You work in the medical field. Mm -hmm. What does your normal day look like? Uh, I sleep a lot. No, not <laughs> not like like work day. Oh, work day. Um, you know, uh, you sleep at work. I uh, no no. All I, right. I don't do he that. He used to have a job. I um, mean, you know, so yeah. So in the nursing, I guess uh, the center um, concern to that would just be like really good customer service skills because mm. you're dealing with people, you know, on a one-to-one -one basis. Yeah. Yeah. So, how close are you dealing with people? Very, in, very, like, close. very close. Like how close? Not intimately, but like just like <laughs> just like like this. Like, hey, like what can I do for yeah. you? Yeah. Are you are you um, occasionally cleaning bedpans? Yes. Okay. This is what um, I'm getting at. This is like a non Let's cut to the chase. Let's cut to the chase. <laughs> I'm I'm, uh, I'm cleaning the S I H T. He's the bottom <laughs> of the ladder right now, but yeah. you're gonna work your way up. Yes. So. And then you're gonna be. The head nurse. How long have you been on that bottom rung? Oh man, I've been I've been scrubbing for like five years. Oh man, <laughs> but you know it comes with its perks. So I've, I've learned a lot of things hands on. Yeah, um, you can be great with your kids when it comes time to change. I mean, yeah, I guess in that portion, like diaper changes. Boom, honey, don't worry about it. I got you covered. Got it. Father of the year. It's so like you go enjoy that bottle of wine. I'll go take care of the kids. Yeah, you know, kind of deal. But no, yeah, um, a lot. I would say. A lot of All right, my wife is leaving me now. And taking <laughs> <laughs> I would say that a lot of the relevant skills that I've been doing have actually transferred to educational portions. So. Okay. All right. So it's been very helpful on that end. So. Well, that's, you do a job that not a lot of people do. Yeah. Um, not a lot of nail nurses. Er, nail nail not a lot of nail nurses. <laughs> not a lot of nail nurses. I'm definitely yeah. not cutting that out. Yeah. So, um, okay. So we talked about that. Let's talk about how you know Jay. That is like a couple moons back. We got a drag. Couple moons. Um, I know Jay through Shelby because Shelby and I went to school. Shelby's we were, Jay's fiance. All three of us went to school together, so um, I know Jay through Shelby when they first started dating. Yeah. All right. Minor technical difficulties. Oh dang! What happened? Well, I lost my cup. Magic of editing. So, anyways, we were talking about we we're wrapping up, learning yeah. a little bit about Renee's work life, mm -hmm. and we just heard about how he met Jay. Now I needed to know what was your first impressions of Jay when you met him. I don't remember. He can be a little bit off-putting. <laughs> he's very quiet when I first met really? him. Really? Well, yeah. he got he's gotten a lot more confident. Yes. In the last yeah, year, actually, so. yeah, yeah. Better yeah. looking. He's, he's grown. He's been molded. Yeah. Exhibit A. Exhibit A. <laughs> so you don't re you your first impressions were nothing bad, nothing good. You're just like, who's this guy? Why is he here? We're pretty chill. Pretty chill. Well, you kind of get along with everybody. I mean, I try to. Yeah. 
We're gonna wrap it up with Renee here. I need to know rapid fire. Okay, rapid fire questions. You ready? Yes. Where is the coolest place you've ever traveled? Uh, Jackson Hole. Okay. Tell me something romantic in Spanish. Maravilloso. What did you just say? Marvelous. Marvelous? Yeah. That's romantic? Yeah. Does that work for you? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tried and tested. What, uh, how much can you bench right now? Mm, probably 185. Are you a better rock climber than Jay? I'd say we're half and half. You're too nice. Are you better <laughs> snowboarder than Jay? Half and half. You're, oh come on! You can have climbing. Oh. I will give you, you. I get snowboarding. Okay. Are you better? <laughs> oh, shut are up. you better at anything than Jay, other than half and half? I need to know. Biking, running, <laughs> being tall, being tall, getting things from the top shelf. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> All right. Speaking You're Spanish. Too nice. All right. So what did we learn about Renee today? We learned that he's a regular Joe. Regular dude. Regular Renee, you could say. Regular, regular Renee, Renee, but he is very interesting. He has an interesting job. <laughs> Has a nice way to put it. Been to uh, interesting places. Yeah. He speaks multiple languages. He does a lot of good accents. You know me. He's just trying to host. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> I'm not sure it's that one of them. There we go. There we go. That was better. All right. So that was uh, that was our guest segment. Yeah. You got to go now. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. You stick around. <laughs> stick what around. do we got for the rest of the episode? You yeah. got some segments for oh, us? Oh, we got some more. I got to get my notes here. Uh-oh. Get my notes. We got a couple oh, segments yeah. we're going to do every time. Segment one, we're going to talk <laughs> about upcoming events. Ooh. Uh, upcoming event number one I know is, what, it is what? Trivia tomorrow night. Okay, well, <laughs> by the time people see this, odds are I will not have it edited for tomorrow night. And uh, I don't want random people coming to my house. But yes, I'm having trivia tomorrow night. If you like trivia and you would be interested in future trivia nights, get in touch. Um, but real upcoming events, we have the West Michigan Home and Garden Show. Topical. See how I did that? Brought it back around to homes. And gardening. <laughs> See what you did there. And that kicks off Thursday, March 3rd, through Sunday, March 6th, at the DeVos Place. Are you going to have this edited by March 3rd? I will, okay. except for... Yeah, Renee made that a little bit more difficult with all of his flubs, which you won't see because I'm going to edit them. But anyways, it'll be $12 for adults at the Home and Garden Show. Renee, do you go to conventions? Have you ever been to like shows like that? Uh, a couple. Yeah, like what? Uh, I did like a leadership one before. Okay, so. you're a show off. That's like the closest thing to I went, to the, I went, I went to. to the car show with my oh, kids. Oh yeah, I ago. wanted to go to that. Was that cool? It was mediocre. Okay. They liked it. Nice. But it wasn't as good as years past. Yeah. You're gonna pay for Uh-oh. <laughs> this is the important one. All right, we're going to save that one. All right. Jay, this is a little bit up your alley. What do you got? Why don't you tell us about this upcoming event? Ah, oh, the Ultimate Sports Show. Yeah. Avid fisherman, hunter, and outdoor-loving family. That. March 10th mm -hmm. and 11th. Mm -hmm. The next weekend after the Home Garden mm -hmm. at DeVos. At DeVos, that's where these are held? I think it said, I saw something about a 110,000 gallon indoor lake there. Oh. oh, yeah. So that's for your fishermen. And look, I have some. That's actually, sorry, that's the 10th, 11th, 12th, and the 13th. Okay. So lots of time to get to that. Denny Gearing is going to be there. Uh, and so is this guy with the long hair who's going to be cutting some logs. So if you're into log mm. cutting and turkeys. Turkey hunting, <laughs> log chopping. Then it's the show for you. Fishing. In our, in our outdoor thing. Outdoor thing. OB Square. Right. Here's the big one. Happens every year. Coming up March 16th through the 20th. We have Laugh Fest coming back oh, to Grand wow. Rapids. Nice. Um, some of the featured comedians. We'll see if anybody has heard of any of these. Right. Maria Bamford. No. Fortune Fee Meister. No. Charlie Behrens. Mm-hmm. Figured you heard, knew heard that. Heard one. that name? And Tone Bell. Charlie Barons is like the guy who does the, like the TikToks where mm. he's like from Wisconsin. Yeah. Oh. But like the skinnier one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh so, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Did you guys funny. go live fishing here? Yeah. <laughs> this guy. There's a little photo. Oh yeah. yeah. Charlie Barons. So he's good old Miss Wet Midwestern guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good old Midwestern guy. So that's coming 16th to 20th. Uh, there's tons and tons of um, comedians coming. I've gone to Laugh Fest before. It's a good time. Uh, <laughs> A lot of paper. <laughs> a lot of paper out there. It's all right. Well, this is this is now we're getting to the fun stuff. Whoa! Okay. What? Let's skip to uh, 
let's skip to some segments for Justin. Oh, yeah, great. We got so sad. We got a couple segments for Justin. Um, featured in the next episode is Justin's least favorite thing. <laughs> He's gonna eat something spicy, maybe like the one chip challenge, uh, ghost pepper. Something I already spicy. said not I, we have to work our way up if we're gonna do it more than one time It's gonna have to be spicy, but not like murder me spicy I think, I But think stay tuned. I, I might it's a pretty doable <laughs> Spice though, dude. I am the worst at spicy. I can't do it Maybe like a little Valentina. But you know how much I love attention. Yep So if, put your suggestions in the comments of what you think is a good medium spice item for Justin to eat next episode Tobias go but for the meantime, we got a segment of we're gonna ask Justin some uh, young hip terms from TikTok. Okay, time out. The only reason he's doing this is because I'm older than him significantly. But I'm not old, so I'm gonna know. He's all pretty hip. So. I'm gonna know all these. He's yeah. in the end. Did to defend his age before we even got started. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna know all these. But these are oh. these are some young hip terms. You know, you might know some of them, you might not. But uh, we'll see if Justin knows any of them. First one's first one first. I'm gonna tell you the term and I'm gonna use it in a sentence for you. Okay. Um, mid. 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 Wow, that burger was so mid. That burger was so midland. From mid Michigan. Middle. I mean mid, middle. That was middle. That burger was, was middle. middle. Is middle of the road, middle. Good guess, because that's right. Is it right? Yeah. What was it? Mid, mid middle. Mid is mid is like average. Oh, mid so I run the the mid golf association. You can, you would more say like my golf association is mid. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Next one. Um, glow up. Glow up. Glow up. Glow up. Dang, she really had a glow up since the last time I saw her. Glow up. I am going to say, it means that the person. Started wearing a lot more makeup. No. <laughs> that one I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. A glow up is like, uh, like, like they're they look better or they're in a better physique. They wear like more a, more makeup. Like like yeah, like things. after after high school since the last time you've seen them, or after college since the last time you've seen right. them, they hit puberty and right. they hit a glow. Up. You, so you're talking about basically me in high school? No, that's versus, a glow down. No, versus <laughs> now <laughs> then. Average Joe now, Joe banging, hot. Yeah, average Joe, amazing. I had a glow up. Boom. This yes. one I'm be pretty disappointed <laughs> if you don't get because I'm pretty sure that you've used this term before yourself. Um, but it's it's the T. The, the T. Do you know the T? Like, I got the T. I got the T. Do you want to know about I the T? I got the. I got some T for you too. I got. Yeah. The tasty treats. It's not necessarily <laughs> an abbreviation. It's uh, like a term. Yeah. Like, it's uh, like it's like, hey man, have I you heard the tea? tea? Is that like a scoop? Yeah, it's like it's like gossip or. Yeah. Why does that? Why does that make sense? It's just hip stuff. It's a hip yeah. term. It's a hip term. I use that with my girlfriend. You like, do? Hey, I got some tea. Yeah, you got the tea, like, and, and she's like, "Please me. stop." Give me the tea. Give me the tea. Give me the tea. Give me the tea. Serve me the tea. All right, <laughs> pinkies up. What about? Uh, I got two <laughs> more for you. I got two more for you. All right, uh, sus. Ooh. Oh yeah, suspicious. Yeah, yeah. That's I know that because you know that of one? my kids. <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. gonna say you should know that one from uh, Among Us. Among Us. Yeah, that's a good game actually. What about the a drip check? Drip check. Yeah. I mean, I'm assuming it has to do with like, yeah, like I'm like drip means like your clothes, your outfit, your stuff. You're dripped out. So you're dripped out. Yeah. You know, I'm dripping. You're wearing all supreme. That's right. Supreme so drip. like right now, I'm gonna say Renee, drip check. He's dripping. He's dripping with all his jewelry, <laughs> right? He's thinking more of the water, but right. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. So I got two out of. That was pretty five. good. That was pretty good. I wrap up your segment. I got a riddle for you. Oh, great. What has a head and a tail, but no legs? A quarter? Yeah. No, that was yeah. <laughs> Come I, said, on. I said snail. You said a snail? Yeah. I mean, it's correct. They probably have little legs. Yeah, snails have, they gotta move something. That's pretty good. Dude, but you're like the much. dad joke kind of story. Yeah, you got I those mean, unlocked. Yes, yeah, so I got the riddles. You're Come fine. On. All right. 
What do you got? Jay segment, if we can still do it in my wet paper. <laughs> this is going to be a reoccurring segment because it's gold. Jay does not know much about pop culture at all. He knows much a lot would of, be <laughs> an overstatement. He knows a lot of things about a lot of things, but not much about the happenings of the... Modern society. Right. Yeah. Exactly. So, I'm, I'm going to give get him to try to guess a celebrity, a very well-known celebrity, and I'm going to give him progressively more obvious clues, and then I'm going to show him the picture, and we'll see if he can get it. So, if you're playing along at home, see how many guesses it takes you, okay? Clue number one. He won the Academy Award no, for, for writing <laughs> Good Will Hunting, which he also acted in. Oh. No idea. Okay. He has since directed and starred in movies such as The Town, Argo, and Gone Girl. Okay, no? Renee knows. I'll let you guess after Jay. He played Batman in Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice. Mm. No idea. Okay. <laughs> He recently started dating Jennifer Lopez again, nearly 20 years after dating her the first time. Oh, I don't know. You still don't know. <laughs> he doesn't know. And I'll show you at home first. If you got this person, you are correct. Jay, do you know who this is? Uh, it's Deadpool. It is not Deadpool. Oh, it looks like Deadpool. They both are handsome celebrities, actors, yes. <laughs> Do that's you know not the Deadpool guy? Uh, Deadpool is not him. Uh, but that's a good one for the next time. Um, you don't know who this is? No. Renee? Do Probably you know who a this Robert, is? Because that's what everybody's name is. <sighs> that's uh, Mr. Ben Affleck. That is Mr. Ben Affleck, oh. currently dating Jennifer Lopez, starring Goodwill Hunting. Probably, I would say, top 10 most recognizable Hollywood actors. We're thinking about Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, Ryan yeah, Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. Hey, you got it. You he got looks Deadpool. Like, he looks like Ryan Reynolds. He kind of, all right. In that picture, he kind of looks like Ryan yeah, Reynolds. With the beard, I'd so. say Ryan Reynolds looks a little skinnier than that. Yeah, he's a little bit more shusty. Yeah. yeah. So, um. I just thought it might have been a bad day. You know? <laughs> <laughs> the picture he put on his IMDb page was his bad day photo. Oh, really? <laughs> no. So that's it for Tub Talk for this week or month or quarter. Or inevitably. Or depends on the reception. But we had a good time, and we're sitting in the hot tub, we're drinking beers, we're talking. It's, it's a one. TED Talk for the rest of us. On behalf of Renee, Jay, Justin, thanks for watching. Bro. Thanks. I'm going to make sure that it's still recording. Shelby! 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 Do we want more beers? Shelby! Ah! Shelby! Help me! <laughs> I need to know if it's still recording. Help! We just we have to edit this part out anyway, so I need to know if it's still recording. Yeah.